Duas pessoas só por enquanto, hein? Marta e Adrian. Aham. A menina do skate está dando um showzinho à parte aí. Na figuração. Welcome everyone to Itacaré Beach Tour Cultural and Flavors. My name is Kelly Tavares. Hello everyone. I'm Kelly Tavares, tour guide in Rio de Janeiro. Welcome, Marta. Welcome, Adrian and Lina. Welcome to Itacaré. I'm a tour guide in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, but I am traveling Bahia. I am here in the city of Itacaré because I love Bahia. And for those of you who know Sayuri Koshima in Salvador, how many of you have taken a tour with Sayuri Koshima in Salvador? And how are you doing? Can you hear me well? The sound is good. The video quality is good. For me here, everything looks just perfect. I'd like to know from you. Our tour is about to start in four minutes, officially. I entered a few minutes before. Hey, Sandy, welcome. Thanks for joining. Can you hear me well? Hi. Sayuri is a friend of mine on Facebook and let me know what she would like pics of. Oh, cool. Thanks, Adrian. Yes, Sayuri is a great guide in Salvador. She is also my coach. She, she uh, encouraged me to enter and give the uh, live stream and tours. I am from Rio Encantos Agency in Rio de Janeiro. And I every time I travel anywhere I go, I love to meet local guides and to learn about our ancestral cultures in Brazil, from our black ancestry, from Africa, and also from the indigenous people of our land. Because we already have many European influence in our culture, but we don't get a lot, we don't get much of our history of Africa or Brazil or of indigenous people. So that's why I focus on that research and I share that where I travel. Bahia is known for its rich and strong black history culture. And that's why I love to come to Bahia. And I'm fortunate enough because now my daughter, Hannah, is living here in the city of Itacaré. She's working here. And I uh, took a long trip all the way from Rio de Janeiro. I took two flights. One flight with one connection going to Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo Guarulhos, to Ilhéus, and then I took a bus all the way to Itacaré, which is two hours from Ilhéus city. All of that to see my daughter and to learn about the culture of the Cocoa Coast or the Costa do Cacau in Itacaré beach town, which is a beautiful tropical city with paradisiac beaches and a beautiful culture of indigenous and also European, but a lot of black history, which is on the backdrops of the history of the city and which is now is being like black people is strong building up the culture here. And there is a massive culture of massive tourism taking place in Itacaré now. Today, our route will be a little bit of the history and culture of Itacaré, the touristic part of Itacaré, showing you different restaurants, bars, and also some of the flavors of the evening life in Itacaré. And thank you, Matthew, for joining this tour. Uh, today, after this tour, we will also offer a sunset tour where we will show you the off the beaten path of Itacaré culture. We will show you where the local artisans are located, making a little bit of the arts and crafts. Also, a little bit of ecotourism, talking about the baleas, the whales, and the whale watching season, which is in September, showing some of the, the restaurants. And of course, the big performance of our sun 
set in Itacaré. So I invite you to, after this tour, 15 minutes after, join me the second tour of the sunset in Charel Viewpoint. Thank you so much, Matthew, for being present. We're starting now our tour in Itacaré, and we have a special guest who is part of my trip. Hey, Joel, thanks for joining. Welcome to Itacaré Tour. Uh, part of this trip I is meeting my daughter, learning more about Black history in Bahia, my favorite state in Brazil, and also introducing and meeting local guides who will share Black history in their home countries and cities. Thank you, Miriam, for joining. Thank you, Susan, for joining. Now I'm going to introduce you to our local guide and friend, Erasmo Carlos. Great to see you, Joe. Here is Erasmo Carlos, local tour guide in Itacaré City. Hey, Carlos. Hey, pessoal. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Erasmo, he is a tour guide, and he also works uh, with the Cocoa Nibs, which is very used in the making of chocolate and different flavors of the bitter flavors of the beans of the cocoa, the cacao of the cocoa coast here. Well, so nice, eh? It is a coast of cacao is north. No, you, you understand it's so very special coast. So you can introduce the cultures about the um, um, black people. So these are the story of Itacare, no? Cool. Thank you, Erasmo. And Welcome. if you have any questions, some of the cool, uh, the tours here in Itacare, I am running, uh, showing around. And now that I'm here already five days, I'm getting to know more guides and I'm able to introduce you to Erasmo. And please, if you have any question to Erasmo, he is the local expert. He is the specialist, he is a specialist in Itacare. I am a visitor guide. And with him is a privilege, é um privilégio having a local guide here. So when you come to Itacaré, he is the guy that will guide you around town. I will be in Rio de Janeiro, I think, if not yeah. somewhere else <laughs> in Brazil. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, Ana, thanks for joining. Hi, Karen, thanks for joining. Now we will start to show you around and tell you a little bit of the history while we walk. Thanks, Heather, for joining the tour to Itacaré. Let's go here with Erasmo Carlos and Kelly Tavares. Please follow us. Follow me at Rio Encantos Experiences. Rio Encantos. And we will, I will be sharing this video on YouTube at Rio Encantos showcasing Itacaré. There is our hashtag Itacaré in Cocoa Coast of the South of Bahia in the northeast of Brazil. We are here in the square of Itacaré. Erasmo is also with his bike. He, is, he likes to bike, ride his bike, doing the, his sustainable bike tours in town as well. And showcasing you the square, the main square of Itacaré. My bike. We are not biking, riding the bike today. He came riding his bike and uh, to meet you and showcase here. Hey, Emma and Naomi, thank you so much for coming and being present to support the work of local guides. If you want to support our work, everybody, remember that we are professional qualified tour guides and your contributions are really important to keep us doing these virtual tours and live tours as a source of income for us. Thank you so much. This is the square with the Church and Matriz of São Miguel Arcanjo. It's a church from the 1700s and it talks the history of the colonial times in secretism of the Catholic religion here in Brazil. At this time of the day is happy hour. The kids are back from school and they are here on the square playing soccer, people chilling and taking a nap on the square. This is a small town with its history tied to the history of cacao in the region. Now, I will invite you to take a little walk on the seaside 
and see the beautiful beach of Coroinha Beach in Itacaré. If you want to take a print of the name of the city so you can remember, you can do, please feel free to do so and share on your Facebook group of Hey Go Voyagers for this tour. Hello, Kelly from the US. Naomi here. Thanks, Naomi, for coming back for our tours. You're welcome. Yes, let's go. So please look around the sun here. The temperature today was around 80 Fahrenheit, around 28 centigrade, with delicious breeze, beautiful sun, with these tropical palm trees. Now the, the fishermen's boats and vessels are here back. People go fish and today we had beautiful fishing days. We have sunset tour also in the Farol and with a beautiful history from the colonial times of Itacare. And now some people are coming back. They were also fishing and the, the mariscadas were also fishing for the mariscos, the mussels and shells, which is present on the seafood diet of the seasides and seashores. Many boats are back. The tide is higher now, and with the full moon, uh, we have very good fishing season on this time. Look how beautiful this is. So please take another print of the screen to save and share to your friends to make them want to come and see other beautiful virtual tours and then later come to Brazil. Will you out on boat today? Hey Joe, I did the boat tour yesterday with Paulo. Hello, Paulo. Paulo is also a guide and barqueiro. Tô falando o nome certo, Paulo? Barqueiro here in Itacaré. So when you come, there are many people, cool people here doing barcos, boat trips. And Paulo took us on a virtual trip yes, before yesterday. Tchau, Paulo. Obrigado. Valeu. So he is very organized. They have the name of many of the barqueiros and their WhatsApp with the different tours that they do in town. That's just some one information. That Paulo is the first guy of a barco trip. Show the hill story and the mangrove and the Contas River. So he knows everything about the story of uh, Itacaré. True. You have a many guide make this kind of tour, but Paulo is a force of travel, so he know how can give a feeling for visit for tour for uh, tourists coming to know that. Amazing! Yes, I took a tour with Paulo. We did a boat ride, Hannah and Paulo, and he was great showing us uh, the sunset boat ride and talking the history of Itacaré. We are considering on booking a tour to the mangroves, so we hear some of these histories of the ecosystem, but also the history of the black people in Itacaré and the history of the cocoa lands here. So around you see beautiful also historic houses such as the yellow house here called the Casarão Amarelo, which is tied to the history in the 1800s and 1700s of the city here when the, the the economy around the cocoa beans commerce and trade was taking place here but also the history of Itacaré is tied to the history of the diamonds from the diamond lands in the interior of Bahia as well and you see many colonial houses which will uh, which hosted was the residence of traders and business people of those times who made money trading around the cocoa. So today we will see beautiful uh, restaurants around Itacaré on the seaside. This is an ice cream place. People at this time of the day came back from their work and they are here playing sports, beach volley, And later we will have the 
sunset tour in that part with the Mirante do Charel. Many people will be there for the everyday uh, show of the sun setting. In places such as Itacaré and in the south of Bahia, uh, local people and also visitors. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you so much for your support. Hey, Eleni T. Thanks for joining our tour in Itacaré. Welcome to the to the to the room. And here in the in Itacaré. We uh, have different people coming here to live tourism in different ways. And the tourism here became massive. And many people bought from all over the world posadas and properties in the land here. And it, what was originally a fisherman's village and with indigenous people from the Tupiniki indigenous people here in the region as well, talking different Tupi. Guarani languages in the 1500s and 1600s. More and more, the black population working in the cocoa plantations came to establish themselves here in the area with the colonizers. Now, the, the, the challenge is how to make a tourism which is responsible with the local communities, creating opportunities for local guides such as Paulo, such as Erasmo, and also to avoid just the gentrification of the area, but to create opportunities of work and education so people can have, can speak English and can establish their businesses and grow their audiences with the resources that they have here. We would like to share with you some of the beautiful, it's a nice stand here. Olá, boa tarde. Uh, sharing some of the beautiful tropical trees, that uh, plants and fruits that we have in Bahia. Here, what the fruit which makes responsible for the economy of this area, the cacao, cocoa. Olá, boa tarde, tudo bom? And uh, the cocoa is what we use to make different products here in the in in Brazil, and it was brought from Africa and used and then used here and use it here to when you cut you have the different seeds with white pulp which people make different products and the beans of the cocoa it is roasted and you make the cocoa the chocolate which is added with sugar and butter. And there are farms here where they produce the local artisan chocolate. Tudo bom? Aqui. Qual o nome do senhor? Jailson. Estou aqui. Oh, I am here with senhor Jailson. Nós estamos Jailson. fazendo um tour virtual com as pessoas, mostrando em várias partes um pouquinho da barraca do senhor, de alguns dos produtos. And senhor Jailson, he's local and he's selling the fruits here. Yes. Obrigado, senhor Jailson. Oh, he's Wearing a shirt of Rio de Janeiro, sou do Rio de Janeiro. Oh, yeah. Olha lá, Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. After I finish this trip, I will go back oh. home to give tours there. Obrigado, seu Jailson. Thank you. Ah, he said thank you. Obrigada. So this is the dendê oil used in the ga yeah. local gastronomy to make the muquecas, the fish stew, and the passion fruit, where many of you used to make fruits juice so there are different seasonings here very used and spices oi filmou senhor vai estar vou depois botar o senhor no youtube lá no rio encanto obrigada viu é a gente vai ficando famoso aos pouquinho né the plantains it's very used in the gastronomy as well he said uh that he became famous. And I said, we are becoming famous and famous for small bits every day Olá, with the wealth that we have to share. Olá, boa tarde. Now we are entering here in the parts of Itacaré, where in the Santos Dumont, close to the Santos Dumont Square, where we will show some of the businesses in the most touristic part of Itacaré. So what was a fisherman's village originally with a few houses, now is filled with many shops. The, this is a, a shop where they sell tapioca, and 
It's a tapiocaria, and tapioca is this dish like a pancake made out of manioc flour starch with different fillings inside, and it's delicious. They sell here. We love to eat tapiocas. And there are different boutiques and shops. A lot of surfers come here from all over the world and Brazil to surf. So there are many surf shops where they rent and sell surfboards and they give classes of surf as well. Uh, here we are in Praça dos Cachorros, né? Exactly. The nickname of the, the nickname of Praça Santos Dumont. And Praça dos Cachorros. What does that mean, Praça dos Cachorros? Can I say the little story about them in the store of a fisherman? Uh, they show a basic. Can you hear Erasmo when he speaks? Vou estar aqui porque acho que dá para você e para mim. Dá ru? Não. É, faz, um, faz um teste falando aí para ver se o pessoal vai te ouvir. Então, será que tá, dá para ouvir? Can tá. you hear Erasmo when he speaks by my side? Yeah, all right. So nice. So this uh, square, uh, Praça dos Cachorros, the, like the dogs the, square. The dog, dog square. So come about the fishermen. So every fishman, everybody like it have has a dog. So I would say little part for this story because the story is big, you know. But I will really like say the little story. So here you're gonna see three hearts. Três corações. It's a possible store. We did say calling the Santos Dumont Square. Say uh, Square, uh, Heart Square. The Heart Square, yeah. okay. So, in between, inside the heart, you found the dog, little dog, because the more fishing guys come to separate and to share the fishing time, the fishing, the fishing. So, like uh, give the rest part for the dog. Ah. So the store, the, the little store is uh, the, the one fisherman is die and the, the dog die too. So they give this like nickname of this square. But this true is a Santos Dumont square. A... Ah, all right. Thank you. So uh, do you have any questions for Erasmo related to that, to the name of the Dog Square, also Santos Dumont official name, who was Santos Dumont, and all of that. If you do, remember Erasmus is here just by your side to share some of that. Ah, tinha ali umas pedras do Brasil, isso é legal mostrar também um pouquinho. So uh, another thing that I will share with you is this shop of Cristais do Brasil. Uh, it's uh, Gemstones of Brazil. Some of you might know or some might not know. Olá, boa tarde. Vim, eu sou guia de turismo aqui. Estou mostrando um pouquinho das pedras brasileiras, tá ok? Muito obrigada, viu? Dá licença. So, Brazil is known for its gemstones and here's an amethyst rock, right? And it's a uh, brute one. And you can see from the other side. And Brazil exports gem stones from all over the world different ones and you can find them in this shop where they also use gemstones to build beautiful sculptures of animals and birds all right if you have any question you can ask the lady here but anyways muito obrigada viu let's continue our walk tá gostando não é legal é divertido Hey, oh, é, é, quando ela entrou na loja, aí um monte de gente cumprimentou a moça. É. So, if you are traveling here, remember, this is a very uh, touristic part of town, and they have, people have everything here for you. So, if you forgot to bring your bikini, you can buy here. If you forgot to bring your sarong or hats, you can get everything in Itacare. It's very... Um, diverse on products as well and in arts and crafts. Olá, tudo bom? Aí, ó, chegamos de novo para mais um tour. Qual é mesmo o nome da senhora? Fátima. Fátima. Here I am with uh, Dona Fátima 
and she runs this shop selling beautiful arts and crafts from artisans of Northeast. Muito obrigada, viu, Dona Fátima? Olá, boa tarde. Dá licença. Vou mostrar aqui um pouquinho. So we are at the House of Artesanato, the House of Arts and Crafts, where you find arts and crafts from the Northeast region of Brazil, with natural fibers of uh, typical different regions, and you have sculptures representing local people. This is a sculpture representing the namoradeiras, or the flirting ladies. People buy them to put them on the windows or in their balconies to decorate. And you find things here which are handmade, such as this place where you can put fruits and vegetables, the tropical fruits that you saw on your table, and it's hand uh, drawn here. Made out of wood, this is an area rich in wood that for reforestation as well. There are unfortunately also environmental problems, which uh, and uh, ambientalists, uh, environmentalists try to combat. And but big forces, political forces, and people with a lot of money, uh, really destroying a lot around. But many of the artisans. The majority, they can only make their arts and crafts with wood of reforestation, which are sustainable and planted. So that's, uh, they need to have, uh, how can I say, authorization for those. Look at these monkeys made out of co coconut fiber. See? So here you can find a little of everything, everything handmade and for all tastes, souvenirs, and especially the... Can you imagine like the, the pan that you use to... The size of the pan to cook food for everyone with this big spoon? It's real, for real. The black women here, they, many of them will cook for many people. And then they will have big pans with these big spoons. What about the... The beautiful sculptures representing different Christian saints of the Catholic Church and also Our Lady of Aparecida, who is the patron saint of Brazil, the black saint, which uh, we have a beautiful party in Brazil dedicated to her, and San Miguel Arcanjo, the patron saint of Itacaré, that we saw on the church. Other very important products in Bahia are the chili peppers. People here with the African descent influences are crazy about spices and peppers. Look at those. And the name in these labels, they are untranslatable. I cannot translate them because if there are kids and children in this session, their names are really for adults. So... I will not translate, but I can give you one translation. From the label here, you could maybe tell a mansa corno. This pepper with the green pepper means that it's very spicy and it's for those who has a husband with horns and the woman give them to make them pacified. And they have many other funny names which are jokes for, for themselves. Also, very good local cachaças, which are produced in Ilhéus, Bahia. And the silver ones are very used, especially, especially the good artisan ones, to make the caipirinha drinks, which is the national drink of Bahia. Here we find symbols of the ribbon of Nosso Senhor do Bonfim, which is a tradition to make your wishes and put at the Church of Bonfim in Salvador de Bahia. Taking a tour with Sayuri Koshima to explain you about that tradition as well. And any of you guess and know which instrument is this? It's used in a Brazilian martial arts 
developed in Brazil by Afro-Brazilian people in the quilombos. And as a music form, it was changed into an art form and a dance and martial art. For those of you who don't know the name, is from the capoeira. This is the instrument used in the capoeira ma Brazilian martial art. Opa. Tchau, dona. Tudo bom? Muito obrigada, viu? Berimbau is the name of the instrument. The berimbau is used in the capoeira. In the old streets of Itacaré, you also see this in many historic towns, the, this very uh, typical um, calçamento, esqueci, as streets which are made of the cobblestones. And the cobblestones, they will tell the stories of colonial times in the 1800s that were used by the uh, black people were the labor force establishing building up the city. The cobblestones are here from a long time since the 1800s and they are uh, you can see in the historic cities of Brazil many of them like also the what we call the stone streets. Olá, boa tarde. Tudo bom? Oh, Fala aí pro povo. Aqui tem um povo aí do mundo assistindo. É? Tá caré. É. É. Oh, que bom. So the this is the touristic part of Itacaré, and soon when it's about 5:30 p.m. There will be many people coming from work to work in the bars and restaurants in this area. And they will also be coming to enjoy the nightlife because here are cool restaurants, many artists playing live music, food for all tastes, shops for all types, and also some tour agencies where they sell different uh, experiences in town either with ecotourism or with history and culture as well. And soon people will be here gathering, having drinks, dancing and trying the different flavors of Itacaré. Now people are setting up their stands, selling beers already, local people here, curious about what we are doing on the streets with the camera and more shops with uh, crafts. These In this shop, they have crafts from all over Brazil as well, from Minas Gerais. Ah, oh, she's trying to get a butterfly. Tudo bom? Ela vai virar atriz, então. She's trying to grab the butterfly there. And this is, essa é uma azul, não é? So she, uh, the, this blue butterfly is uh, from outside, it's brown. And inside it's blue. So as you see, it looks like an eye there. And when it's upside down, Erasmo Carlos, the guide here, is saying that she it looks like an owl face because it's a mimetism, uh, one of the evolution of the species that makes the, her look like a, an owl face instead of a butterfly, so it protects her from predators. Qual seu nome mesmo? Marielle. 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 She's she works here at the shop, and she's very nice and kind. This is the second time that she welcomes us on the tour, and she knows everything about the different arts that she sells here on the shop. So it's the, the person to come and look for shops from also things from Recife, uh, Pernambuco, uh, Minas Gerais, and from Bahia as well. And she's there on the, her endeavor trying to get the butterfly. Boa sorte! <laughs> Thank 
So this is like a main street from Itakare. This is a famous street of uh, shopping for everything for already. She say you no know, that so here after six everything's open. So one thing's very interesting. The more restaurants not to open for the midday, open after midday. So if you like to eat in the day, we just need to wait because the most restaurants open after midday. That's great. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Adrian, she's already. Um, the Mosia? Mela Mali 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 is already there on the back. She will manage to she's a nice lady. She will manage to take the the butterfly without hurting the butterfly. Thank you, Emma, for your support. It's very important when we run the tours to support the local guides because then it stimulates us to do more tours. Okay, thank you. Here we are at a very nice place, is a Villa Rosa chocolate. They are a chocolate shop for you to go crazy. The Chocoholics, this is the place to come. They run tours in the farm of Villa Rosa. They have a project, uh, um project uh, sustainável, a sustainable project with tours, and they run tours there every week. And they have the processes of making chocolate. So, and we have guests here at the door, uh, kitties to welcome us. And also them there. Olá, pessoal, tudo bem? Estou de volta aí mostrando Vila Rosa na plataforma. Depois eu vou compartilhar no YouTube. Tá? Aí vocês podem ver em Rio Encantos. Rio Encantos. Isso, no YouTube e no Instagram. Tá? Obrigada. Valeu. So I'm telling them that you can follow me at Rio Encantos Instagram and YouTube and social media in general. So you can keep in touch. And if you want to have tailored trips to Rio de Janeiro, I can help you plan your travel. And also I can help you to connect with local guides in Bahia, Salvador, Itacaré, to plan a perfect trip throughout Brazil. I have partnerships with guides and local guides who care about a good tourism, which is responsible and which helps local guides, small businesses to thrive, okay? Keep posted, follow us. Thank you so much, Naomi. Thank you, Matthew. So here I'm sharing the Fazenda Vila Rosa Pousada. They have a pousada, which is a, a, a kind of a hotel and the cocoa beans being roasted. Also, when the people working in the cocoa farms, they are local people preparing the cocoa and keeping, making sure the cocoa pulps with the seeds will have the perfect temperatures and conditions to make the best beans. For those of you who wants to keep this, Villa Rosa, Cocoa and culture. Here they have the cocoa nibs, which is a product that Erasmo also produced many recipes. He is a, a chef using cocoa nibs for different things locally because we are tour guides, but to make our income, we need to do other things as well here in Brazil to survive. So we do many things. I also do, I also run the virtual tours to help me out, so please help us out. Here the lady, when you go to the cocoa, they give you a tour, they show you and tell you about showing the cocoa trees, telling you about all the processes. You can spend a day with your family, canoeing in the mangroves, learning about the, the manufacture by the local people. How they make it, they give workshops and tours as well. And the numerous products, of course, for those of you who like chocolate, here you'll find artisan chocolates, the candies, chocolates uh, like trufa or uh, brownies, what we call the bonbon, different bonbons and different percentages. 
So the higher the percentage, you have more bitterness. And they also follow that brew, which is an international pattern for offering you for different tastes, like 45% cocoa, and the price, seven reais. Seven reais is what? Two dollars, about two dollars. Yes, around two dollars, one dollar and a half. And they are all handmade, not industrialized, not a big industry. So you can get the pure cocoa powder and also artisan special coffees. It's a product that you can grab, such as jellies and jams, pepper, and the cocoa. Here they have one art to the cocoa, related to the cocoa, the cocoa nibs. You see, this is a nice place to come. They sell espresso and coffee. Mm, smells so good. And it smells great in here. Yes, hello. <laughs> ciao, ciao, pessoal. They are talking about the cultural programming for her. Ah, Carol, she is also a for her dance instructor. A gente terminou o tour em cerca de nove minutos. É. É. E senão o pessoal começa a sair também. Oh, the, the nets, hammocks, are the traditional uh, handmade using the art of. Como é que se chama tecelagem? Esqueci. So they will use the TA, the technique of making these patterns with fabric, with natural fabrics of. And I forgot the name. How do you call this art of fabrics? of sewing the fabrics like this, handmade. We call tesselagem here in Brazil. And the hammocks, they are the beds of the indigenous people tradition. Many of us here in Brazil and in the Northeast, instead of using couches in our houses, we use hammocks. Many times in my living room, instead of having a couch, I had a hammock. And the indigenous people in Brazil, they are the ones who, invite, who invented these beds. And so when you go to the north of Brazil and some place in the northeast, everybody, instead of having beds, they will have hammocks in their bedrooms. And that's the tradition of the indigenous people is still very alive in our tradition today. Do you have any questions so far? Soon this will be packed with people listening to different music, different languages, people from all over the world here gathering and enjoying the nightlife. Do you have any questions so far? That you, something that you would like to ask Erasmo or myself? Please let me know. Also, if you'd like to see something special, the places here where they also do uh, toiletry, uh, which are sustainable, toiletry which uh, do not use uh, animals, um, uh, animals to make tests, and they have other shops to buy good chocolates, artisan chocolates as well. And from culture and flavors tour, I'd like to say you one of the typical traditional foods in the diet of Baianos, which is famous not only in Bahia. This dish here, olá Sandra, tudo bom? Olá. Oi, oi. A família, e a família toda aí. Is the whole family. Aqui é, eu sou Kelly, né, guia de turismo no Rio. E eu estou aproveitando os dias que eu estou passando aqui visitando minha filha para promover a cultura de Itacaré para vários turistas. Aí eu estou fazendo um tour virtual. A Sandra já sabe, né? É. Passei, sim. So here's the whole family united. 
I am in Bahia, northeast of Brazil. And now here you see the sign saying Acarajé das Meninas. Acarajé from the girls. Who are these girls here? Who is a family? And they make the traditional dish of Acarajé that you can see here on this pan. This is a fried dough of... Uh, a, uh, what's the name of the beans? Black eyed peas beans, smashed and fried. So they make like a, a deep fried bowl, this size that can carry in my hands. And they will use the different creams, which are made of. So she will open the pans to show us soon. Ah, the bobo de camarão. This cream is made with shrimps, uh, the tomato sauce. Uh, 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 Erasmo Carlos is already drooling here. Soon there will be a line of people here uh, buying the acarajé. And he will order one because he could not resist. The bobo de camarão is a typical dish here that people will serve inside of the acarajé. Ali está, ó. The acarajé dough, which she fried. And no, for most people huh, coming to Bahia and know this acarajé, just you need to know about this hot or cold. If you say hot, you understand the hot is like coming with the chili peppers. If you like cold, not because the the special acarajé coming cold, because you without chili peppers. So it's important to say to know that, huh? Uh, otherwise, if you like it really spicy, you should say, I want my acarajé quente, hot. Oh, look at this beautiful acarajé with Erasmo. Aí, Erasmo, muito obrigada por essa cena importante do acarajé. <laughs> and for those of you who want to take a shot, pode tirar essa foto aí, ó, de Sandra com Erasmo. Is the place where you need to come to have the best acarajé of Itacaré. O melhor acarajé de Itacaré com a família do acarajé das meninas. There you go, your opportunity. Não, obrigada, querido. Eu, infelizmente, eu sou alérgica a camarões. Mas eu gosto quando eu peço, eu peço sem camarão. É. They have vegan options, Sandra is saying. And here is the um, vatapá. And the caruru, and the caruru is made out of okra sauce, tomato salad, pepper, which is optional, and the acarajé, mm. fried balls. Mmm. Uh, Erasmo is here, just mmm, mmm, <laughs> drooling and eating. Delicious. I love the smell, it's so good. Bye bye. Tchau, tchau, Sandra. Tchau, tchau. É, dia 29 eu vou fazer outro. Aí eu vou fazer com os portugueses. Tá? É, vai ser um grupo de portugueses. Eu passo aqui falando em português, você vai entender. Que é, que eu eu... É, Mas em inglês, em inglês já vai praticando, né? Que só de ouvir a gente aprende muito também. É. Hey, Aaron and George, thanks for joining. É. <risos> eu vou ali para a barraca do, do cacau das frutas do drink. Tá, eu vou terminar daqui a quatro minutinhos. Tchau, tchau. Aliás, daqui a três minutos eu termino. Hi, Ronnie. Yes, please come back. Come back and support us, local guys, coming to hear our stories, coming and also helping us keep in doing this work by also contributing with what you can contribute. Tudo bom, pessoal? Olá, Dona Eliane. Boa tarde, tudo bom? Nós estamos aqui na nossa última parada, our last stop of this tour, where we will share with you the... Barraca of Kiosk do Almirante is where you have the drinks, the local drinks with cachaça, vodka, gin. 
and the local cachaças and seleta cachaça and of course the beautiful fruits. So if you want to refresh yourself with a nice caipirinha, caipi fruta, other drinks made of the cocoa, this is an opportunity to ask for your drink, making the last stop or the start point of your tour in Itacaré with a nice drink with Dona Eliane. Here is the famous uh, fruit that makes the dendê oil. This is very ripe, that's why it's black. But when it's uh, less ripe, it's this color. And the dendê, like I showed you, the oil is the main oil used in the gastronomy and diet of Bahia. All right. Ah, here's the dendê, the ripe dendê to use and make the oil as well. Ah, so is this in this point here that they cook with water and salt and then make them then they oil. Ah, yeah, the pupunha fruit, which is delicious to say, it's better than the smaller pupunha. And Dona Eliane, o qual nome? The name of this flower, look at this flower, it's known as the sorvete, ice cream flower is the name. Muito lindo. Muito lindo. This is the most beautiful barraca. Barraca is this stall which is built in this establishment of Dona Eliane. Essa é a barraca mais bonita, decorada. Eu vou chegar para trás para o pessoal ver. So I will uh, come back here to give you a nice shot and we will, where we will finish our tour showing you the barraca of Dona Eliane, the most beautiful barraca da rua of this street. Let's make a beautiful shot here. And we are against the sun and I will make another one so you can take the print of the cacao. And we are finishing our tour Thanks, Norman and Terry, for you who arrived now in the tour. We will run in about uh, 15 minutes, a second tour at 5 p.m. for the sunset tour of uh, Viewpoint of Charel. So come join us in the 5 p.m. tour of Mirante do Charel and feel free to take your print with this beautiful shop here. Thank you, Norman and Terry, for all of you who were present. Thank you very much nice some others thanks george for joining norma terry all of you who are present my name is kelly tavares tour guide in rio de janeiro traveling bahia to support local businesses small businesses local guides to learn about brazilian culture my own culture into deeper levels Today we had a gorgeous day and please come with me in the 5 p.m. tour for the sunset at Charel. Thank you so much. Please remember to follow at Rio Encantos, R-I-O-E-N-C-A-N-T-O-S and on YouTube, Instagram. If you can, tipping me, uh, paying for this will help me and motivate me to do more. Okay? It's, uh, I take that really serious because this is a, I'm a tour guide and that's the way that I make my living one of the main ways. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you later.